So I've been trying to shoot high speed sync on my Pentax 645Z ever since I got it. And I don't want to use the Pentax speed lights. I want to use my Profoto B1 studio lights. So far, no go. I've been looking at the Prio light system. I even have an order ready to go. I've read mixed reviews on the Prio lights, so I'm not convinced that the longer flash will evenly cover the sensor. And I don't know if I'm willing to pull the trigger to try and see what results I'll get as opposed to the reviews I've read. So I was on the forums, I bumped into this product from Cactus. This is their V6 II. And this product acts like a bridge, translates camera systems to flash systems. So instead of using Canon with Canon, or Nikon with Nikon, or Pentax with Pentax, you can use Canon with Nikon, or in this case, Pentax with Canon. So this is Profoto's Canon transmitter, and it supports high-speed sync with the B1 units. So this bridge right here, in theory, will allow information to be translated from my 645Z to the Canon trigger out to the B1 flash units. So we'll give that a try. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping that this works really well. If it does, that would eliminate one of my primary complaints about the B1, which is lack of high-speed sync on Pentax. I still wish that it had a more robust body. Um, the little channels on the battery clips are fragile. You have to be pretty careful not to, not to break those off and end up taping your batteries on. Things like that. Um, you can't shoot with mains power plugged into a wall. So I, I have my complaints, but at the same time, I have four B1s and I'm happy with them. I've used them everywhere. I love the portability. I love the size. They charge quickly. So, you know, nothing's perfect, but I've been using them for several years. Anyway, let's go give this a try. All right, into the studio. So, power on our Canon trigger, get the 645Z running here. So, uh, 250 is sync. I am in manual mode on the 645Z, and I am going to fire at 1 400th of a second. F4 is probably too bright. We'll go to F8. And let me get the B1s powered on here. So, the two up front are the ones that I'm really looking at. They're all going to fire in high-speed sync, but I just want to make sure that all four are popping at the same time. So, set the Canon trigger to high-speed sync, manual mode. Uh, let's get this turned on. I'm setting this to TX mode on the switch. Uh, the other option is RX. I'm using TX and on the display here I am firing at let's see functions okay so I am on there we go camera and flash setup so my camera system I have set to Pentax uh, my flash system I have set to Canon my flash profile is auto cannon, and that should be, that should work. So let's find out. Let's do a test flash. Okay, so everything's firing. Let's see what we get here. 
Well, everything's shot. Um, that is a pretty white exposure. I don't see black bars anywhere on that. Let's step up. Let's go to an 800th of a second. Still no black bars. Everything is pretty even. I don't see... I don't see any concern there. And just uh, so you know, my composition is just the white backdrop. So I'm getting just the same white across. And then I just have those two B1s with their reflectors washing it at an even exposure. So let's go up to a 1600th. Ah, misfire on that one. So that's not good. Yeah, everything's still firing. Well, let's try it again. Yeah, fired that time. So we are losing exposure because I'm increasing the shutter speed, but we are staying even. Everything is still still even. Let's go to 3200 of a second. Still even. No black bars. High speed sync appeared to be working perfectly. All right, we're at 4,000th of a second. I'm thrilled. This is, this is wonderful. Everything seems to be working fine. So now I will actually shoot to the card so I can uh, put these raw files up for you to look at if you want to see them. Uh, so let's go back down to, we started at the 400th at F8, ISO 100. Um, I have no idea where I'm focused actually, but it shouldn't matter. We're just looking for evenness. So there's one. Go up to 800th of a second. 1600th of a second. 3200th of a second. And a four thousandth of a second. All right. That's pretty crazy. So at an eight hundredth, we're no longer keying on the background. At a four hundredth, we are. But the rest of these files are not keyed at all. So I'll put these files up for anyone who wants to, to check them out. Um, this appears to have worked perfectly. I have no idea if I'm even in the composition here. So I'm very happy with this. I don't need to change flash systems. I can fire my B1s at up to a 4,000th of a second. Um, at this distance, where the lights are right now, I'm at high speed sync, full power, uh, 10 of 10 on the ones nearest to the backdrop. And I was properly exposing at an 800th of a second at F8, ISO 100. So that's, that's a fine exposure. That gives me depth of field if I need it, but I can also cut down if I don't, if I want shallow depth of field. So um, I'm very happy about this. I haven't seen anywhere on the forums um, anyone else having tested this. Um, I don't believe that I'm the only 645Z shooter running B1s. I imagine there are plenty of them, but no one really has been talking about this specific setup. So hopefully this helps any other 645Z shooter out there. I wish you the best. Keep shooting, uh, keep creating, and enjoy high-speed sync. Um, it cost me like $90 on Amazon, I believe. So that's, a, that's an inexpensive solution versus swapping out my light engines for Priolites and, uh, and investing the extra I would have into the higher power 1000 watt units, which I do wish I had 1,000 watt units on these B1s, but it's not an option. Uh, but with high-speed sync, eh, there's 
that does solve some of my shooting problems. So anyway, um, that's it for this test. So have a great rest of the week.